The USB ports on our electronics are changing. They are a bit different than the ones we are used to, USB type A, which we are using for more than a decade now. The new port is the USB type C. We first saw it on Google's Chromebook Pixel 2, but it really came into notice when there was only one port on the new 12 inch MacBook. We have been using USBs to transfer data and charging for quite a while now. From USB 1 to USB 2.0 to USB 3.0 and to USB 3.1. The data transfer speed increased with each generation but they all had the same kind of connector, the USB Type A. The Type A port was too big for small devices like our phone and tablets so it led us to make micro and mini USBs to charge our small devices. And the number of cables we use for each purpose has increased since then. I am Shekhar Singh and this is Get to Know USB Type C. What exactly is USB Type C? Basically, it is just a new type of connector shape. If it is USB Type C, that does not necessarily mean that it is inside USB 3.1. It can be USB 3, it can be USB 2, like in the case of Nokia N1 tablet, which has a Type C connector for charging and data but inside it is still USB 2.0. The problem with USB Type A other than the size that you cannot plug it in the first time. But the Type C connector has eliminated this problem. USB Type C is reversible so you can plug it in any way. There is no wrong way to plug it in. You can plug it right every time. And that for me is a really big deal. The Type C connector is one third of the size of the older USBs. So it can fit into smaller devices like our phones and tablets and remote controls. Also it supports different kinds of protocol which allows you to use adapters that can output HDMI and VGA and also USB Type-C is backwards compatible. But it does not mean that you can plug your old USB Type-A 3.1 or 2.0 USB right into the Type-C connector. It means that you can use adapters for that too. So you can connect your old USB 2, 3 or 3.1 by using some adapter to the new USB Type-C connector. USB Type-C can charge and transfer data at the same time. And it can theoretically transfer data up to the speed of 10 Gbps, 10 gigabytes per second. The micro USB 2.0 port that we use to charge our small devices has a power limit of 2.5 watts, which is okay for small batteries like we have in our smartphones. But it is not so useful for bigger devices like our laptops. But the USB Type-C has a power limit of up to 100 watts which means this is not only smaller in size can transfer data at high bit rates but also charge your devices at a faster rate which is why the new Chromebook Pixel and the new MacBook both use the USB Type-C connector for charging the Type-C port has just hit the market this year and it is going to take some time for all of us to adapt to USB Type-C but I am telling you this is going to happen whether you like it or not USB Type-C is going to be the new standard for USB. Everything that has a USB port on it, in the upcoming years, it will have a USB Type-C port. We are going to see a lot of USB Type-C in the next 2-3 to three years. So this is pretty much it. All you need to know about USB Type-C. And also do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video.